back tonight. We are learning more about Chances of Stone County and how you can help. Chances is dedicated to enhancing the lives of individuals with developmental disabilities. And to tell us more about it, we have Toya Youngblood, the Vice Chair of Chances, and Chris Stowe, a board member. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about Chances. I know you have a gala coming up soon, and yes. that's what we're here to talk about. But it's also been 10 years since you started Chances. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Uh, why did you start Chances 10 years ago in Stone County, and uh, what was that like? 10 years ago when Chances uh, started, it, it began just as a small nucleus of parents around a, a basement table in a local church because we realized that there, at that point in time, were no services for any of the disability or disabled adults with disabilities in Stone County. And we realized that, you know, while our kids are in school, there are services, of course, provided through the local districts. But once they get out of school, they just kind of go into a place where there's not really any support for them. So we wanted to be proactive and um, meet that need to keep our citizens involved and able and um, to allow them to reach their fullest potential in their home county. So Toya, you're a parent. That's how you got involved. I am a parent. Uh -huh. And uh, Chris, how did you get involved with Chances? Well, I'm a parent as well. Okay. And so I got pulled in. Um, we have a program called Mad Saturdays. And I had found out about Mad Saturdays. And it has a music therapy aspect to it. And my son, who is 19 at this point, and he absolutely loves music. So we went to a Mad Saturday and just fell in love with the family atmosphere and Jack was loved immediately and and so we've stayed ever since. So MAD is one of the programs and that stands for music, art, and dance <laughs> Yes, <at> MAD Saturdays. <laughs> and then the other program is Club Daybreak. Can you tell me about Club Daybreak? Yeah, Club Daybreak is relatively new for us. It's just been up and going um, a couple of months now, but it has been so well received. And it is a day program where uh, some of our members can come and hang out with their friends and buddies and make lifelong friendships while enhancing their, you know, skills. Um, they cook, they paint, they socialize. And socialization is really one of our top focuses because we realized that, you know, after kiddos graduate from high school or in their career in public schools, they just kind of go home. They need to continue to have that socialization aspect yes. and uh, really feel like they are part of the community. Exactly. And I think it gives them a, a sense of purpose. Everybody yeah. has to have purpose. Everybody needs a reason to get up and to go and to work and to do something. And those kids get that. That's their job. They get to go and they get to accomplish something. And everybody needs that in their life. So okay. our goal and our mission is to help all of our residents experience success, whatever it may be. Now, Chris, you said when Jack first started going to Mad Saturdays, mm -hmm. he was accepted automatically. Yes. Toya, what is your son's name? Colton. So Colton and Jack, tell me about their experience uh, when they started going to these programs. What is it like for them? What do they tell you about it? What, do, what are they doing there? How are they feeling while they're there? Well, Jack absolutely loves it. I mean, he gets to go in and they have music therapy and they get to sing songs and they get to get up on stage and they get to perform. And I mean, they just, he just absolutely loves that. And uh, there was a Mad Saturday where another friend of his had come from school and his whole face just lit up and he was just like, David, you're here. And it was just, your heart just melts when you see your kids be so excited about something. It is. It's really moving as a parent to see your child become excited where they can have a normal socialization experience where yes. regardless of their ability to, to talk or walk, okay. they're accepted and they're cheered on. Colton loves Mad Saturdays and he loves Club Daybreak. I think Club Daybreak has uh, just in the few weeks, months that he's been going, it's already changed his life. He looks forward to it. He wakes up excited on club days. And I was asking him recently about 
about, oh, did you see your friend today? And he's like, oh, they're a brother to me. Oh <laughs> and I think that is so sweet. <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> just to see that he is able to have those neighborhood connections to build mm -hmm. lifelong friendships. Yeah. Yes. So you have a gala coming up. And this is exciting because it's been 10 years since Chance has started. So this is kind of like a 10 year celebration. I don't know if you meant it for it to be that way, but. <laughs> well, it is, it is. It's a celebration of the programs that are happening and the opportunities that we're able to give. And our gala is on September 6th this year. Uh, we're ha holding it at the beautiful Chateau on the Lake from six o'clock to nine o'clock in the evening. We're going to uh, have live entertainment. We've had a lot of Branson entertainers give us their time and their talent they're donating that because of this cause. They want to be able to help our kids, which I think is exciting. And that evening um, in the performance as well, through our music therapy that they, they get through Mad Saturdays and Club Daybreak, the Chance's Biggest Stars. And they are actually going to do a number that they have been learning through the musical therapy. So this evening is going to give our community the ability to see the heart of our kids and to see the difference that Chance's makes in their lives. And that's the most exciting part of it. We are wanting to give the community the opportunity to be a partner in possibilities. And how they can do that is um, through sponsorships of this event. We have four different levels of sponsorships that we're doing, um, as well as individual tickets. So for the sponsorship, if people are interested in finding out more or being a sponsor, yes. they can just go to your website. Yes. Well, Toya, Chris, thank you so much for being here and sharing with us. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. We'll be right back with more right here on Ozarks Fox.